All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this one, uh, it's called, this is what it looks like when babies have babies. This is what babies having babies looks like. So um, I'm interested to see how this these people act. Obviously they're fixing to uh, do some silly things and I'm curious to check it out. Uh, so let's don't waste any time. Let's jump right into it. You could please raise your right hands. You and each of you swear or affirm testimony given this case to be the truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um. We are here on a petition to establish the parent-child relationship. I believe we have um, a couple agreements. So I'll read those agreements into the record. The parties are in agreement that Mr. Uh, Michael Jones is the biological father of the child, London Lister, and that London's last name will be changed to Jones. That's not no agreement. <laughs> what? Um, they're in agreement that there's been no family violence and what's so funny? I just don't get it. Why, why is this, uh, Miss Terry here so giggly? I don't get it. Neither parent is requesting a non disclosure, they're in agreement to a standard possession schedule for Mr. Jones. Check this shirt out now. What? If who, who, this judge right here should have said, you're not to wear a shirt like that in my court. Sure, it's a Zoom meeting. It's a Zoom court. But to, that's disrespectful. What is this? this what are we doing? Look, look at this shirt. And I... I believe that those are the only agreements at this time, Your Honor. Oh. The state calls the mother, Miss Terry. Will you please state your name? Ashanti Terry. And what's the child's name? London Lister. And who is the biological father of London? Michael Jones. Okay. Um, and when London was born or conceived, were you ever married to anyone? No. Okay. And where is the last name Lister coming from? My mom was last name. Okay. Are you in agreement today to establish that Mr. Jones is London's biological father? Yes. And are you wanting London's last name to be changed to Jones? No. no. <laughs> why not? Because... No reason. She Googled her last name. And how old is she? Four. Okay. And who is she primarily living with? Me and my mom. Okay. Um. And did you hear those agreements I read into the record um, other than the last name? Yes. And besides the last name, are you in agreement with everything I read out? Yes. Okay. Uh, has there been family violence in the last two years between you and Mr. Jones? No. Do you have any safety concerns with your address or your phone number being printed in the court order? No. <clears throat> okay. Do you think that you and Mr. Jones can co-parent and make decisions for your child together? Yes. Okay. Um, and and Miss Terry, is that what y'all have been doing so far? No, I've been trying to. I've been uh, trying Mr. to. Mr. Jones, I'm only talking to Miss Terry. Um, Miss Terry, look at the giggling. <clears throat> These they have to be extremely young. I don't know how old they are, but the giggling out of both of them is, is, a, is a sad case of 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 not understanding how to act in a in a way that doesn't look childish. I don't know. It's just, it's sad. The giggling, the, she's wearing a shirt, halter top, pretty much. She has no bra on. Uh, 
you know, it's just, it's pretty sad so far. You ever the question? <laughs> yeah. So you think that you and Mr. Jones can co-parent together? Yes. Okay. And are you in agreement to be a joint managing conservator, meaning you share decision-making rights and duties with Mr. Jones? She has no idea. Can you repeat the question? Are you in agreement to be a joint managing conservator, meaning you share decision-making rights and duties with Mr. Jones? Yes. Are you in agreement to be the parent to designate the child's primary residence? Yes. And are you requesting that you have no geographic restriction on where the child lives? Yes. Okay. Um, and what kind of health insurance coverage does your daughter have? She on Medicaid. Of course. Okay. Of course. And we have calculated um, medical support of $275 per month and child support of $468 per month, both beginning August 1st um, from the father. Are you in agreement with those amounts? Look at, did you see that? <clears throat> She's literally making faces at the screen, sticking her tongue out, and this judge says nothing. Says nothing. I'm what, what kind of what is going on here? Is this crazy land? Miss Harry, are you in agreement? Yes. Okay. Are you requesting retroactive child support? Yes. Okay. Um and has Mr. Jones given you any money to help support your daughter in the past? Yes. Okay, and it looks like we gave him some credit. Um, he paid $2,750 to you and then $800 to you through different cash apps. Is that right, Ms. Terry? I wouldn't say 2000 and nothing, what? but he has been happy in the past. Okay, so how much? Well, let me ask you first. Did he send you eight hundred dollars through Cash App? He never sent me eight hundred dollars through Cash App. His mama, me and his mama would make transactions through Apple Pay. Okay, so did he send you any money from himself to you through Apple Pay? Never from himself. And do you know if he Most was giving? Them, do you know if he was giving the money to his mom or if it was his mom's money? Um. Most of the time, it'll be his mom's money, like for her birthday and for her hair money. <clears throat> Those are the times she'll say that it's for him, I'm from him. Okay. Um, and then has he ever given you any cash? No. And has he ever bought anything for the child, like yes. that stays with you, like diapers or clothes and things like that? No. Okay. Do you think he should be entitled to any credits towards the back child support? No. Okay. So are you requesting a total of $12,288 in back child support? Yes. And do you believe that's in the best interest of the child? Yes. Okay. Um... Is there anything else you want the court to know about your case? No. All right, I'll pass the witness. The state calls the father, Mr. Jones. Sir, will you state your name? Yes, Michael Jones. And I already said I don't agree. Okay, Mr. Jones, um, what's the name? Or let me ask you, are you in agreement that you are the father of the child London Lister? Yes, and I'm also in a, and I'm also not in agreement that she just said I didn't buy my check. Okay, Mr. Jones, I'm going to ask you questions and we'll go through all those issues individually. Just um, wait until I ask you the questions. Um, so you're in agreement today to establish that you're the biological father of the child London without DNA testing, correct? 
I got a DNA test. Was it through the court? No. Okay. So do you want DNA testing through the court? Or are you okay with going forward today? I'm okay with going forward. Okay. And London's last name right now is Lister. Do you want that changed to Jones? Yep. Another reason I don't agree. And has there been any family violence in the last two years between you and Miss? Look at that. Continuing to be childish. And the judge says nothing. What, what kind of judge is this? I'm, I'm confused. It doesn't make any sense. Terry? No, ma'am. Do you have any safety concerns with your address or your phone number being printed in a court order? No, ma'am. Do you think that you and Miss Terry can co-parent and make decisions for your daughter together? Yes, ma'am. And are you in agreement to be appointed a joint managing conservator, meaning you and Miss Terry can make those decisions together? Yes, ma'am. In what state are you currently living? Oklahoma. Okay. And were you living in Texas when London was conceived? Yes. Okay. Um, and are you in agreement that Miss Terry can establish the child's primary resident? residents um, without any geographic restriction? Uh, so that means that she could move anywhere with the child? Or um, do you want her to have a geographic restriction to stay with the child in Dallas or any surrounding I, county? I agree. As long as where she is is stable, because where they are is never stable. That's why I didn't try to get them down here with me. And that's factual. I got screenshots, messages, proof, evidence, everything. And are you in agreement to have a standard possession schedule with the child? Yes. Okay. And are you currently employed? Yes. And is it correct that you have two part-time two part-time jobs right now? Yes. Okay. And so we calculated current child support at $468 per month. Um, are you in agreement with that amount? No, I am not. Okay, and can you explain why? Because I have been trying to get my child down here with me. And I have the messages that shows, and my mother also have messages that shows, because she did the same thing to me and my mother. I would say I want my child down here. I would send money and do all of that. And she, every time it's time for my child to come down here with me, she would either stop responding or she wouldn't respond at all. And I have messages to show that. I have proof. I would send money, and every time she would ask, I would send it. And I stopped, and we stopped sending money because we we heard someone on the phone with her saying, asking, asking her about some money that my mama was gonna send. And it was a man. Why is he worried about money that's for my daughter? And um, do you have any private health insurance available through a reasonable cost? Um, yes, my jobs provide health insurance. And have you looked into enrolling London in the coverage? Yes, I have. It's just that I haven't been able to get in contact with anyone to get my daughter's social security number. Okay. And so the state's requesting that you pay medical support for now because she has Medicaid of $275 per month. Are you in agreement with that? Yeah, I guess. Um, not really. His birthday is not going because like I said, girl, I got two jobs. What job do you have? And then, uh, Mr. Jones. I work for everything I have. That's why I was trying to get my daughter down here. The not judge had nothing. Nothing. The judge is doing nothing here. It's like he's not paying attention at all what's going on. This is a strange judge. Talk shit up. Hey, hold it. You guys don't talk to each other. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, realistically. Um, Mr. Jones, have you given Miss Terry money to help support London in the past? Yes, I have. And is that through apps like Cash App or Apple Pay? I would I would Apple Pay my mama the money or I would have my mama direct deposit my check into her account because she was using Venmo and I get and I used to get paper checks. I would have her direct deposit the check into her account and Apple Pay or transfer the money over to her Cash App to Cash App her. And See, why don't you just have your own Apple Pay instead of using your mother. On top of that, I also still have more than $2,000 worth of clothes for my daughter that I never sent to Texas because I didn't trust her. I still have everything. I have evidence for everything. Everything that she just said and lied about, I have evidence to counteract it. 
I promise. And um, as far as the money you've given to Miss Terry, do you think it adds up to three thousand five hundred and fifty dollars? From everything, they didn't add it up because they didn't add. They the lady added it up, and I added it up because the lady told me however much money add up, however much money I spent on my daughter. Right. And what was the amount I came? gave her? I gave in total when it comes to money, I gave her eight hundred dollars was sent to her. And that was in separate times because every time she asked, even if it was the next day and she asked for forty dollars two days back to back, fifty dollars two days back to back, it was getting sent. And I have evidence of that. When was the last time you did something for my baby, my ma'am, friend? Ma'am, do not talk to him. And when I have evidence of this too. Every time, literally every time, this is why my my mother and you would have been bumping, have my mother and her have been bumping heads because every time it's time to go get my daughter, we'll have everything planned out. We'll have everything ready, but she'll stop responding or stop acting like she want to talk to us. Mm. She won't answer. And the only time she do answer, which are the very few times my daughter have came down here and I spent all the money I did. The very few times she did answer was when she wanted something else to do when she wanted to be out and all that. And I know because I have her on social media. Okay. And so back to the amount that you said you gave her $800 through the apps. Um, and you've also purchased items for the child. Yes. And I have all those items still. And is that where the 2750 comes in? Yes. Cause when my, every time my daughter came to Oklahoma, I, we would go out shopping. We would like, we would just do stuff. Like, so you're wanting credit of thirty five fifty towards the back child support, or do you think you should owe zero in back child support? I should owe zero. I didn't try to get my daughter down here and her to make their living situation better. And oh, sorry, sir, you're on mute. And yeah. how often per month are you coming down to Texas to see your daughter? Um, none because I don't have an address. I, I have messages where I was supposed to come down there. Last time I was supposed to come down there, I asked for an address and she never sent it. And do you, um, when you, if you do come down here, do you have family members to stay with or do you have to get a hotel? I would have to get a hotel. And how long does the drive take you? About three to four hours. Okay. Um, let's see. Not to mention not getting met halfway i'm going down there all the way every time i it's, it's how, there, much, it's, how much does was, that cost you in gas to get down there let's see hmm. a camaro it takes about 120 to fill up your tank you're gonna have to fill it up again about time you get to probably about Probably around Oak Cliff, you have to fill it up again. Then you're going to have to push to Siegelville. So it'll probably cost about there and back about 200, 210 in gas. And, and then plus a hotel. And plus the hotel. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want the court to know about your case that's relevant? Yes. Um. I. I actually try to do what a father is supposed to do which is move my child and her mother into a stable home and a stable environment where they can both have somewhere to lay their head a roof over their head and food in their stomach but she turned down my offer not thinking about the well-being of our child i'll pass the witness yeah Parties are appointed joint managing conservators. Mother is primary. There is no residence restriction. Father has standard visitation uh, order. Father is to maintain health and dental insurance on the child. He is also to 
cover the child on Medicare until uh, that private coverage kicks in. The medical support for that will be two seventy five a month. Once health insurance is in place, call the attorney general's office and, and drop drop the Medicare. The only issue remaining that I can see is that of retroactive support. Retroactive support is denied. And current child support. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Current child support is uh, 350. Okay. A deviation to help offset the cost of uh, access. Okay. Okay, thank you, Honor. I believe those are all the issues. Right, Y'all are free to go and good luck to you. Well, I guess that's it. So, oh, me. Unbelievable. So, that's it. Uh, that's what it looks like when children are having babies and they, you know, they have to go to court for child support and you know, everything. It's like this judge, I don't know this judge, uh, first time I've seen him, uh, he, he's, he don't seem to be all excited about his job. Uh, he, it's like he didn't even listen to anything the father had to say. But the, besides that, the point, of, the point of this video from, from the title is that <clears throat> watching how the, you know, these young people having babies. They have no respect for the court, especially the, the woman, the girl. She is wearing clothes that is inappropriate for court, first of all. Uh, secondly, she's making faces and, and, and uh, laughing and interrupting. Uh, and, and the judge says nothing. The only time he said anything was when she interrupted one or two times. That's it, nothing else. Just let her carry on like a like a like an idiot, taking her phone and moving it around, showing the room and stuff like that. That's just inappropriate. Uh, so anyway, that's a video. That's another video of court video. So I hope you enjoyed it. It was interesting to me. Till next time, see ya.